Hey guys, so I'm finally coming to you guys with a drugstore full foundation routine, so let's get started. I'm going to exfoliate my lips with some honey and sugar that I made on my own, and this just gets rid of any dead skin on my lips so that my lip gloss or whatever I put on my lips will go on really smooth. And I'm just going to wipe it away with some water so that it's not sticky and gross. <laughs> now I'm going to use my NYX Do Me Up Primer to put all over my face. This is just going to um, help fill in our pores and make our face more tacky so that the foundation can apply smoother and it just looks better. So now we're going to go in with the Black Opal Stick Foundation and just cover up um, some of the dark marks on my face. My skin has gotten a lot better. Um, on average, my forehead always breaks out. Uh, around that time of the month when Aunt Flo comes to visit, if you know what I mean. So um, I'm just going to cover up the acne marks that I do have and just um, do that. This is a very full coverage foundation, this Black Opal Stick Foundation. Um, it just covers up all my acne scarring. I'm not going to color correct today. This is basically my color correcting. So now I'm just going to go in with this EOS Lip Balm. And just put that all over my lips to moisturize. I'm going to take this Mario Badescu Rose Water Spray to spray my face. Um, so that it's easier to blend out the foundation. I'm taking the Maybelline Fit Me Foundation. And I'm going to take some grapeseed oil. This is grapeseed oil from Banish Acne Scars. And I'm going to place two drops into my foundation that I placed on my hand. And I'm going to swirl that around and place it on my face. Um, the reason why I use oil is because this foundation is the matte version of this foundation. So I didn't really want it to be matte, so I added a little bit of oil. I wanted it to be dewy. Um, sometimes, sometimes, on rare occasions, I like matte foundations, but most of the time I like it to be dewy and glowy. So that's why I added some oil. So um, I'm just going to pat that in with this Real Techniques brush I got from Ulta. This was a really cheap brush as well. And I'm just going to pat in my foundation. I love this brush because it gives you like a really flawless look. And it helps your foundation to be full coverage instead of using like a beauty blender or a Real Techniques sponge. So that's why I really like this brush. So you just press the foundation into your skin. Just keep pressing it on in. And now I'm going to show you guys quickly, well try to quickly, how I do my brows. I'm going to use the NYX Micro Brow Pencil. I really honestly don't like this pencil. So I'm going to use probably like three products on my brows. The NYX Brow Pencil just doesn't do it for me. Like it's not pigmented enough or creamy enough. So I took some of the um, Salon Perfect Brow Powder and just filled in my brows after I used the NYX uh, Micro Brow Pencil. I also took some of the e.l.f. Um, cream eyeliner because I only had brown in the powder so I use the elf cream liner in the color black and as you'll see in a second I just um, went below my eyebrow and then above it kind of like filled it in per usual if you guys want like a detailed eyebrow tutorial just let me know um, but this is basically what I do is really I do it the same way with any products all the time so this is how I do it and the brow, um, the e.l.f. cream liner I got from Walmart. So now I'm taking this L.A. Girl Pro Concealer in the color Fawn. And I'm taking this Real Techniques brush and just sculpting out my brows. I only do the bottom, not the top. So I'm just sculpting them out at the bottom. I do that to both sides. And just blend it out with this other Real Techniques brush. That's it. That's all I do. And I do that to both sides. Just blend out the concealer underneath. And now I'm going to take this Maybelline um, Cocoa Eyeshadow and I'm going to take a Morphe 506 brush, I think, 509, 509 brush. And just put this in my crease just for a little definition because my eyes look so flat. So I'm just going to put that right actually above my crease and just kind of blend it out. Nothing too serious at all. So now I'm going to take this Sonia Kashuk Goddess Bronzer that I got from Target and I'm going to take this e.l.f. brush. I'm going to spray it with some NYX. Um, dewy finishing spray just so that it's more tacky and it'll apply smoothly and it'll come off more pigmented and I'm just going to place that all over my eyelid. This is such a simple eyeshadow look that you guys can do every day if you want to. Um, 
or if you're going out it doesn't really matter i mean makeup is what you make it you know what i mean so just i just put this all over my lid and then i take that blending brush again and just blend out those two colors together so that they kind of look like they're they're one you know what i mean now I'm going to put on my lashes. These are the Salon Perfect 614 lashes. You can get these from Walmart. Um, usually any place that sells Ardell lashes will have Salon Perfect. And this tool that I'm using, you guys always ask me about. I got it from Ulta. Um, I can't remember how much it is, but I'll link it in the description box. Now I'm going to go back in with that Goddess Bronzer and just put it in the inner tear ducts of my eyes to make my eyes pop a lot more than they are. I'm taking this Rimmel Eye Coal and I'm putting this in my waterline so that my eyes look a little bit more defined. I didn't really like this one, um, so I went in with my LA Girl Glide On Liner and you can get that from online, it's really cheap too. And I'm just going to place that over on top of the, the Rimmel. So now on to highlighting. So I'm gonna use the Maybelline Fit Me Concealer and the LA Pro Concealer in the color Fawn. And I'm taking the um, Fit Me Concealer first and using the applicator to make these little triangular thingies under my eyes. And then I'm going to take the LA Pro Concealer, put it on my arm, and then tap my Real Techniques Beauty Blender onto, the, um, onto my wrist. And take up some of the product and then just blend out both of the concealers underneath my eye. Um, the reason why I put the LA Pro Concealer on my hand first is because the LA Pro, Pro Concealer um, always dries out on me and it's very dry and hard to blend if it's not warmed up first. So this is just how I blend out my concealer. I do this all the time. Um, you guys have seen me do this before. And I love the way the Fit Me Concealer looks with the um, fawn color of the LA Girl Pro Conceal. So yeah. And I'm going to bring it up to my temples. I actually didn't mean to, uh, but I did. So I'm going to use this Black Opal um, Finishing Powder. And this is in the color Medium. You can get this from Walmart as well, what I did. And then I'm using this Real Technique Setting Brush to put that product underneath my eye. And I'm gonna, just going to pat it in first and then kind of swipe the product away. Um, very finely milled powder, powder this is. Um, and I don't know, it just looks really good underneath the eye. It didn't really crease on me as much I've done this before but it didn't really crease on me but um, today was actually my birthday if you didn't know you follow me on snapchat you would know but um, I did put a little bit of Laura Mercier powder on top of this powder just because I don't know I needed a little bit of extra security I didn't show the clip but it was literally just a little bit so now I am gonna go in and use the fit me concealer to highlight my forehead the bridge of my nose cupid's bow in my chin and I'm going to blend that out with a little stippling brush I got this off Amazon I think it was a dollar it came in a kit of 10 um, or nine other brushes and it was only ten dollars and I'll put the link to that down below as well and I'm just gonna blend that out and yeah so now I'm gonna take some more of that uh, black opal finishing powder and medium and I'm gonna set all of those areas that I just highlighted and I only put the Laura Mercier powder underneath my eyes just because sometimes I have a problem with creasing. But you definitely don't have to. It looks exactly the same. So now I'm going to take the palette that I use to actually do my eyebrows. And I'm going to use this, that lighter brown color in that palette. This is actually for your eyebrows. And any darker powder will work. And I'm just going to use that same brush that I used to set my powder underneath my eyes to do my contour. And I'm just making, following the hollows of my cheeks. That's it. Now I'm taking that same brush and just bringing it up so that that line where I highlighted and concealed under my eyes is gone. And just bringing it up on my forehead. You know, I have a five head, so, you know, you got to kind of hide it a little bit. <laughs> and now I'm going in with my ebony bronzer. I love this bronzer. You can get this at any drugstore that sells CoverGirl. Most of the time they'll have it. And I'm just placing that in the hollows of my cheek on top of that uh, darker contour color that I use, the eyebrow powder, and just bronzing up my face a little bit to give my face a little bit more definition. Going in, um, I think this is a Sigma brush, tapered brush, and just um, defining my nose a little bit more I'm using the CoverGirl bronzer again. And yeah, I'm using this is a Milani T Romantic Rose blush, and I'm going to just pack that on. 
Uh, this is a MAC 109 brush, and I'm just going to pack that on my cheeks, actually following my contour. I've been doing that lately, not actually putting it on the apples of my cheeks, but following my contour. So right on top of the contour shade. And just blending it out, and just gradually build up your blush. Don't put a lot on at first, just build it up. So now I'm going to take this Tonya Kashuk bronzer again, and I'm going to highlight my face. This was like my very first highlighter, guys, and I still have it. So um, I'm just going to highlight the my like I can't talk highlight <laughs> the top of my cheekbones um the tip of my nose the bridge of my nose uh, a little bit above my lip and a little bit on my chin and I'm going to take that bronzer again and go back into the corners of my eyes and just make them pop a little bit more so now I'm going in with the deluxe finishing powder uh the black opal powder in the color dark um, and I'm just going to set my entire face with this. This is so that my foundation does not move and it sets everything in place. Um, yeah, that's basically the tutorial besides the lips that I'll show you in a second. So I'm going to use my NYX. I use like two NYX glosses. I can't remember the name. I think it was Natural and Nude. I'll put it down below. I can't remember. But I used two NYX glosses and then I put a MAC gloss on top because I couldn't find my other NYX gloss. So I used two NYX glosses and um, Spice by MAC, their lip gloss. So I like mixed a whole bunch of glosses. But that's really it guys. Thank you so much for watching this tutorial. Don't forget to thumbs up this video and subscribe.